Hello, everybody. Um, I'm laughing because it's already a take two on this. Um, I want to thank everybody for their uh, time and watching support. Everything, new subscriptions, old subscriptions, uh, all the comments, likes, like I said. Um, today, we're going to be doing a kind of warm-up winter. Um, January here in Cincinnati is normally pretty cold, and today it's about 55, so we're going to be doing like a mentholated shave. However, I'm going to be doing a face shave using the Head Blade Slick Mentholated Shave Cream. This comes in a liquid, um, and it actually lathers up and performs fairly well. So let's get started. A little bit in the old trusty stainless bowl here. Probably about that much, maybe a hair more. Get the old uh, disruptor. A little bit wet, like that. And just go right into it. Hopefully everybody's had a good day, a good week. Um, like I said, here in Cincinnati this week, today's 55, and we're expecting anywhere from um, on a Thursday, 55 Thursday, and we're expecting anywhere from 5 to 12 inches of snow on Saturday. I uh, just added a little bit of water to the brush. This stuff does take a little bit of time lathering up, um, so we're just going to try to get, get it going pretty quick and everything. It is pretty thirsty as well. Like I said, it does perform very well. Um, pretty slick, uh, you know, not heavily mentholated, just enough to give you a nice little little feel of it. Um, as far as razor today, I will be using a um, the Mule R41 again. Uh, the second use on the Boscod blade. Uh, some people may see that little blue dye in the picture and say, hey, why is that not on number two? Well, that's the second shave that I have on that, that blade. Generally, I uh, can't remember a lot, so I have to use devices like that in order to remember how many shaves I have on a blade. Um, typically, I go about four in pitch. So, lathering up pretty good, as you can see here. Boom, 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 there's on the brush. It could take a little bit more, but I don't want to spend too much time on this. I'm at Oh, two and a half minutes. I already have a little bit of pre-shave conditioner on. Let's add a little bit of water. I'll make adjustments on the face if needed. So hopefully everybody has had some time to watch a couple videos. And I know I've had a lot of Feedback, I appreciate the feedback. It really means a lot. As you can see, it's lathering up pretty good. I have used this stuff on my head when I shaved my head. And this bottle that I have here is old. I mean, it's probably five years old. I found it laying around the house. And I said, hey, let's... Throw that in a bowl and see if it won't lather up. And look, it does. As you can see, nice peaks. You may hear my dog in the background. She gets a little bit uh, excited at times. And once again, Mule R41 with the Maggard's M11 handle. The handle's nice and weighted and everything. So, let's get right at it. This is only my second time using the R41. First shape went pretty good, so I hope not to cut my lips off again. That's the goal. It is an aggressive razor with his 
Voskhod blade. Still very smooth. I do have a spot here. Hopefully won't open it up. Because we don't want to have that. Razor gives awesome audio feedback. This stuff is pretty slick. It's not the slickest stuff. For store-bought though, it is pretty daggone slick. I don't know how it compares to the uh, shave butter. You might want to check out Sensi Shave's video today. I haven't had time to check it out yet. Shh, don't tell him. It's a secret. All right, first pass. Man, this is an awesome razor. Really, really enjoy this razor a lot. It's just so efficient. And look, I still have my lips. All right, let's go on to pass two, a little bit of water. I noticed on my last video, and I'm gonna to try to be a little bit better, that I used the water in the sink and turned on the faucet a lot and caused a bunch of ruckus. It's no good. I think it's an area for improvement. So we're gonna improve on that and go from there. Plenty of lather still just in the brush. As you, as you can see, it goes everywhere. Believe it or not, it almost landed on the bristles of my other brush down there. Maybe it's, maybe the shaving cream just knows where it needs to go. About now I'm getting a decent amount of Mentholated feedback. Like I said, it's not highly menthol. But then again, being middle of January, almost, and in a cold climate, you don't really need too much mentholated stuff. I just figured I'd do it up because it's close to 60 degrees. Pass number two. Across the grain, ear to nose. I just love that sound. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe for my next shave. Breaking out the old uh, Q-Shave. I was fortunate enough to get one of the um, Q-Shave Future Clones in black. It is a sexy beast. So I may go ahead and use that in Sunday Shave. Don't know what soap I'm going to use just yet for Sunday shave, but hey. I could decide and then I'll probably change my mind five or six times before. Before then. I guess that's what you'll call a game time decision. I'm probably not going to go against the growth here on my chin because it's a little bit rough first time, but more than likely operator. And this razor is just so efficient. Oh, oh, looky there. A couple of weepers. You saw it here first.
nothing to be too concerned about. I think one of them's already. No, not quite. Da, 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 da. Okay, I'm going to get cleaned off here. I don't know if I need to go a third pass or not. I think with this razor, I better leave good enough alone. I mean, I am pretty smooth as it is. Lord knows that none of us wet shavers ever overshave at all. Now that's, that's good. Very good. Very happy with that. Uh, let me pause. I'm going to wash off a little bit. Cold water rinse will probably bring those right up. I don't even see them. Yeah, a little bit. And we'll go to the post. Thank all you. right, thanks for hanging around. Uh, we're back. I wasn't really planning on doing the Allen block, but since I hit up a couple weep weepers, I figured I'd probably better. Um, left a little bit of cold water on my face. A little bit, you saw me hit that up. A little bit of water on the Allen block. Now, I know I'm going to get some feedback right there. A little bit there. Everywhere else, though, is surprisingly nothing. second use on that razor and I tell you what I am enjoying it a lot okay quick on that nice like that a lot okay now where'd I put it where'd I put it oh there it is um, I'm going to be using some snake bite aftershave this stuff, in my opinion, is banging. A uh, nice, strong menthol. Is it the strongest out there? I don't know. Is it the strongest I've used thus far? Yes. So we're just gonna hit it up a few times, about five or six times. A little sample bottle. I will be getting me a big bottle of this come springtime when it starts warming up. Oh, uh, right now. Just nice and cool and refreshing. Um, and Aqua Velva Sensitive 5 in 1. I think finally the skin has used, absorbed everything that I used from my last shave on Sunday. Kind of used a little bit too much. So today, it's going to be that much. A little bit of water and I apologize once again for the running up the, up the sink. Much better. And I tell you what, my face is good and cold. Another reason why I wanted to use this head slick today is it's a local product. You can find this in almost any pharmacy, you know, um, thing like that. Um, it wasn't that expensive. There's a lot in here. There's eight ounces and it will last you a while. Uh, once again, I want to thank everybody. If you like what you see, please subscribe, leave me a message, like, comment, anything. Um, and once again, I want to thank everybody for their time. Uh, thank everybody for their subscriptions and support out there in the shave community. Everybody, it's been great. And we will see you all Sunday. Bye-bye now and have a good time until then. Oh, and happy shaves. <laughs>